sticky salted coconut caramel sauce drizzled on a beautifully thin coconut crepe stuffed with caramel bananas. Ah, oh, this is one crepe recipe you guys are not gonna wanna miss. Okay, so I have a confession and that is I am definitely in the set and forget kind of camp when it comes to desserts for dinner parties because I want to be having a drink and having a laugh and spending time with my friends by the time we get to that point. I don't want anything that's very stressful to make. So this is a make ahead dessert that is so easy and yet so impressive. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, which is easy and also impressive, is make caramel bananas without having to make a caramel. Oh, amazing. All right, so let's do the bananas. You just want a ripe banana, it can be any kind, and I just want to cut the banana into just kind of like strip. You don't have to be all fine dining and meticulous here. And then to these, all we need to do is add some brown sugar and mix it through. And even just as I'm mixing here, you can see the caramel starting to form. So now we just let these guys sit around while we make everything else and by then they'll be all sticky and caramelly. Now let's do the crepe batter. And I just want some plain flour, some caster sugar, and a pinch of salt. Just want to mix these dry ingredients first. Now my wet ingredients I'm going to do separately. So I've got some coconut milk, some regular milk two eggs and some melted butter as well. Let's give all of that a mix. And now pour that into your flour. And I know what you're going to be thinking here, you're going to be thinking that's way too much liquid for that small amount of dry ingredients, but it's really important with a crepe batter that you start with one that's very thin because that's the only way that you're going to get a thin crepe. Okay, so this is the kind of texture that you're looking for, a very thin pouring cream consistency. I'm just going to set it aside now for about 10 minutes. It will thicken ever so slightly. So now let's get on to our salted coconut caramel. Oh, I love this one. I often make like double batches, keep it in the fridge and I just drizzle on ice cream whenever I get the urge. Uh, but we start off with some brown sugar and into that I'm just gonna add a little bit of water just to help it get started. Now you wanna get this bubbling away and wait for all of that sugar to really dissolve and thicken up a little bit. Okay, so now I can smell that that sugar is starting to really caramelize. It's almost at the burnt stage, which is what I want, because that gives us the very best flavor. And I'm gonna add in some coconut cream. And then again, just let that simmer for a little bit to thicken. And then just to the end here, I wanna add a really decent inch of salt, because of course this is a salted caramel. Okay, so this is the kind of texture that you're gonna have here while the caramel is still hot. Just let it cool down a little bit and it'll thicken up. Okay, so we're gonna cook the crepes and yes, sometimes this takes a little bit of practice, but if I can do it, you guys can totally do it. So start off with your knife with some butter on the end of it and then give your pan a nice little light coating. You wanna be able to see some little sizzly bubbles here in the pan. And this is about a 20 centimeter diameter pan, non-stick. Non-stick will be your best friend here. And then I wanna take about a scant half cup, so not quite a half cup of liquid. You need to pour and swirl at the same time. I'll show you how it goes. So pour in and swirl. And now keep swirling that batter around until you get a really even set layer. Now I'm just gonna come right out and say that I have made this crepe recipe and a million other pancake recipes and the first one is always rubbish, always without fail. So let's see what happens with this one, but I'm banking on it not being the prettiest of the bunch. And the idea here is that we're just waiting until the bottom gets a delicious kind of golden color and the top is set. So once you can touch the top of that crepe and it's not sticking to your fingers, so it's set all the way through, that's when you know you're done. And there is no delicate, pretty way to do this. It's just gonna kind of flop out of the pan, but that's okay. And just as I predicted, this one is far too dark brown. The shape is fine, but just a little bit too much color for my liking. Always, the first one never turns out. So that will be mine when it comes to the dinner party. Uh, but I like to put some baking paper on top of that before I start my next one. Okay, and again, you want a little bit of butter. 
and then swirl and rotate. Okay, let's have a look at our second one. Ah, oh, perfect. Beautiful golden color. That's exactly what we're looking for. And then just keep going until that batter is finished. Okay, rolling these guys up is very similar to making like a giant spring roll. So grab one of your crepes, put it colored side down, and now have a look at these bananas. Look at how sticky and caramelly they are. Ah, pure magic and no effort on my behalf. Okay, so just put some bananas a little off center down the end here. And now fold up over the top and then fold the sides in and roll it up. And there you go, one very neat little banana parcel. Okay, so look at all our little folded beauties here. And the great news is you can do this up to a day ahead of your dinner party. And then all they need is about 10 minutes in a warm oven until they're just a little bit warm before you plate them up. Now that's what I call set and forget, love it. Okay, so when it comes to the serving time, this is what you need to do. Pop one of these down onto a plate. And the caramel as well, if it's hardened up in the fridge, just heat it up a little bit on the stove and then pour that over the top. And then a little bit of ice cream because, you know, ice cream. <laughs> so there you go, guys, a dessert that's super easy. You can make it in advance. You don't have to worry about it when you go to serve it up. Oh, like the ultimate dinner party guest. I love all of this right now. <laughs> I can taste the coconut, so the crepe is really thin, but I can still taste that beautiful coconut flavor in there. I've got that beautiful caramel that's a little bit salty, mm. and then those sticky bananas inside, and of course the ice cream. So good. Mm. Sometimes I make myself so happy. <laughs> If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one. And that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks guys.